Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 4th module of RPF and in this module we have a few topics regarding the uh, character recognition and some of the finding elements and all like those topics okay so the there are nine questions which you could expect in the theory exam which are important so uh, some of the questions I have discussed in the, the uh, practical video only like the tutorial videos so you can watch that and write the set by your own and what are the theory parts uh, remaining that I will be discussing okay and if they ask the practical question in the theory form what you have to write that also I will be discussing so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll support help me make more videos like this okay so so let's get started if you have doubt, uh, got any doubt ping me on instagram okay so let's get started the first topic is uh, explain the step by step process of attaching window in attaching window search in the activity attaching window and you will be attaching there and you will be selecting which window you want to attach and you will be performing all activities you can watch video for more details okay i have explained that in a, in a separate video and all these things also i have explained using an example in a separate video you can watch that if they ask in the theory i have uh, one or two lines uh, which you need to write then another topic finding the control okay so anchor base what it does is if you want to write a name okay they will be written on top of that right name like that it will be written right that is the anchor and where you want to write beside it on top of it on the right part or the bottom part that will specify and there you will enter the text which you want to enter that is about the anchor base and element exists means what if that element exists it will return true else it will return false element scope means what sometimes we just want to do everything in the calculator itself we don't want to perform any other task at that time you can set the element scope to the calculator okay finding children means what if you have a list here and and you have a box here in that box uh, the children are the list elements okay find element is nothing but if you want to find a specific element during the runtime you will be using find element find relative element relative to this element what are the elements present near it that you will be finding okay that is known as uh, find relative element get n system means if you select a child what is its parent the parent is the box which is nothing but the select tag right if you remember in the web we discussed select tag that's what about the get n system indicate on screen means if you want to indicate on screen during the runtime then you will be using this one indicate on screen okay moving on in the next one we have what are the techniques uh, used for waiting uh, for a control for waiting for a control there are three techniques wait element vanish wait image vanish and wait attribute in one one line uh, regarding this wait element vanish is nothing but it you will wait until the element vanishes from the screen then you will uh, notify something or um, do some action and image if the image vanishes you will do some action and the attribute wait is nothing but it will wait for the um, property of the uh, element to be seen okay that's what about the wait attribute Next we have uh, keyboard and mouse activity super important question mouse activity there are three types click double click and hover click means it will click on icon double click means it double click on icon hover means it will just uh, place the cursor on the top of the icon <coughs> keyboard activities we have three types send hotkey type into type into secure text send hotkey means you can use control alt win and uh, another one was there with that you can use any other key okay so if you're not getting the theory concept you must watch the tutorial video itself because there have explained with example in detail so you have to watch that okay type into is nothing but typing uh, typing into the text area if you open the notepad there you will be typing something right that is type into text area type secure text means you will be using the secure string by using this uh, code here you will be typing something and this is what uh, the code here see one two three four is the thing which i want to type and it's in the secure type you cannot see it but you cannot uh, you can just use it okay this inside you have to write and uh, by default set it next we have what are the saved uh, explain why the saved notepad content cannot be rewritten explain working with ui explorer here we'll be seeing about the ui explorer okay for that only this example is there see once uh, what we do if we go to the notepad and save something by using automation and uh, it will be written will not save okay it will be written there and the name of the uh, notepad by default it will be untitled right then what will happen if we go again and write something else and again save it save it with some name suppose that apple okay we saved that uh, notepad name with the apple then again we try to automate the same thing and write it into the apple file it will not be able to find why because it used to write in the file named as untitled that is saved in its memory it will be searching the same name notepad it will not be visible so it will not be able to find and write what's the solution the solution is go to ui explorer and change the property where it was stored untitled as the new name when you change the new name it will be able to find that and it will be able to write in that okay so that was about the ui explorer moving on we have the handling event super important question there are three type of handling events element image and system in element we have two types which is 
click and uh, key press so uh, handling event means what uh, there will be two things trigger and action this thing you have to remember okay then in a handling event there will be two things trigger and action whenever there is a trigger what action should happen the trigger can be of uh, three types the first one is the element trigger event if you click something then what should happen that you will be specifying here if you press some key what should happen that you will specify here if you click an image what should happen that you will specify here if you click a hot key means some control uh, key uh, keyboard uh, shortcut or any other key what should happen if you click the mouse button right left or middle what should happen and system means both of these two if you click any of these what should happen that is specified here okay moving on we have the critics recording what are the activities used in critics recording very important question critics recording is used for the remote development platform you are sitting in usa and you want to develop some app in china you will be using remote development in that you can use the critics recording it will uh, record the images of the desktop one by one and it will uh, use the mouse pointer these are the two important things images of the desktop and what mouse pointer for basic and desktop recording it cannot be used uh, that's why you use critics recording for this one and there are few activities this is very important click image click text type select and copy screen scraping element and uh, text image fine then we have about the screen scraping what are its types what is screen scraping scraping means what uh, gathering okay if you have a text here something and written if you do screen scraping what it will do it will extract this uh, this text that's what it is the screen scraping is the method of extracting data from the documents websites and pdfs okay it has three types full text native and ocr what are the difference between these three let's have a look these are the capabilities uh, which is full text native and OCR. The speed is highest in full text and the second position, third position, accuracy 100-100 it is 98%. Background execution is possible in full text whereas it's not possible in both in native and uh, OCR. Extract text position, the position is not extracted here whereas it is extracted in this case. Extract to hidden windows, it is not uh, possible in these two whereas it, is, whereas it is possible in full text. And uh, support for critics, critics only supports OCR, it does not support full text and what native. Okay. So these were the differences you can uh, go through it again and keep these differences in mind so that in the answer script you can fill the answers okay so that was about the uh, critics uh, sorry uh, OCR uh, native and full text the last question is what are the typical uh, failure points super important question how to avoid okay what are the typical failure points selectors let's have a look at one by one selectors it uh, see suppose that uh, there is an apple okay there is an apple image in one uh, website and there's another apple image in another website okay so if i select this image and save it into the ui path like this is the element which i want to select and again i show the same image in a different website it will not be able to identify why because the name of the website changes it will think that it is a different entity but whereas it's the same entity so for that uh, what we can use is wildcard wildcard will uh, not save the name by the uh, exact name it will save it using some symbols so that the, whenever the name changes using a variable it will change the name there also live element means as the changes happen it will reflect the changes in the live element next we have scope if you want to uh, access something outside of the scope you have to change the scope explicitly in the variables panel okay these all things I have discussed in depth in the tutorial videos okay delay if you want to um, <coughs> access something from the web page but that web page is taking some time to load so what will happen it will look like a blank screen while it is loading so what the program will think nothing has been found and it will uh, delay uh, means uh, output the error but that's not exactly the case that's why we add delay for waiting some time element exists if you want to perform something first check if it exists or not before uh, checking if it's existing that's stupidity isn't it next we have try catch try catch means if you want to test something first try then catch the error where you are otherwise simply running you will you won't able to get to know where the error is coming from exactly okay that's why you use try catch always okay then we have the last one which is the two string sometimes forget to add two string that produces an error so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this our support helps me a lot and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one